thought I was making healthy choices for my family, but as it turns out, so much of our food was actually highly processed, more a product of industry than a product of nature. And since I'm the one responsible for feeding my precious growing children, I just knew we had to make some serious changes. And let me tell you what, those changes were not easy at first. At the time, I didn't have a guide to follow or a real food cookbook to use or really even anyone to ask how to do this. So it was a struggle to figure out what I could feed my children if goldfish and fruit snacks were no longer options. My family's health is super important to me, so I took this challenge head on by creating a pledge that we called 100 Days of Real Food. After lots of research, I devised a set of temporary rules and for 100 solid days, we didn't eat any white flour, any sugar, or anything out of a package with more than five ingredients. My kids went more than three months without a single piece of candy, and they survived. At the time, I really couldn't believe it. Now I'm here to tell you our story and show you how you can make these same changes for your own family. And with the resources I've worked so hard to create, your transition will be so much easier. I put my heart and soul into my new cookbook to show others how this lifestyle can be completely realistic and delicious for any busy family. In addition to the 100 recipes, which all use familiar ingredients, my new 100 Days of Real Food book includes five chapters with everything you'll need, from a school lunch packing chart, to advice for getting your whole family on board, to meal plans and shopping lists, and so much more. I hope you're feeling inspired to make these important changes a priority and that you'll let my book help you along the way. It's important to remember that any small changes in the right direction are better than none, and there's no better time to start than now.